Hey guys! Hi. It's Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twin Set. Welcome back to our channel. We're really excited about today's video. We are, it's a bit different for us. I know. What are we doing? We decided, obviously being mums, fairly new mums as well, our lifestyle, our style has changed so much, hasn't it? But obviously being stylists, fashion editors, we didn't want to lose our identity. So we kind of, between the two of us, got a few little mum style hacks that we just wanted to share with you that just make our kind of day to day with the kids a little bit easier, more fun for us. When You know what it's like, when you feel good about yourself and you like what you're wearing, it just makes the day so much better. I would say that kind of since being a mum, Lenny's a year and a half now, like you said, I wouldn't say my style's changed. I still feel like me, but I wear different things. Do so you I think, still but, we, keep... but we were like always in the office or well, like- no, going... Yeah, but I feel like, I, I'm still reaching for like a bit of leopard or yes. kind of like those minimal pieces, but they're in much more of like a tracksuit form or a yeah. comfortable form. Yeah. We always say, and obviously we're gonna talk about this in more detail, we just don't wear jeans in the week. No. Love, love, love jeans. As you know, we rave about so many styles, but in real life, when I'm clambering around on the floor, going to soft play, group. whatever oh. we're doing, or even just nipping out, I'm just not comfortable. And then sometimes a footwear choice, like I just, it's just always joggers or leggings. And I never thought I'd be that person, but I feel like now the shops and everyone have nailed that kind of loungewear so well that actually you feel really good in those pieces. And even if you're not mums yet, or your mums and your kids are already at university or, or whatever. Or just for weekend style or casual style. Because I think, funny enough, my mum says to me all the time, she doesn't quite know how to wear these like casual pieces and not feel kind of undone. Yeah. But actually, we've both got them, me and M joggers, and they feel really nice them because it's all about having great cuts and great shapes and kind of in a muted palette that it doesn't look slobby or kind of too dressed down. So we wanted to share those tips with you today. We've got seven, so stay tuned. We're gonna take you through our seven mum style hacks just to help give you some ideas too. So mum style hack number one, we're gonna start with outerwear. Right. Do we actually even? Need I mean, to I'm say actually anything? mortified that also <laughs> there's like a whole lot of leopard going on here. <laughs> We've got a meeting after this video, and we both decided we wanted to wear this jumper, and we just decided to wear it for filming. Hey ho, twin set, true twin I'm set. It's very hot. Are you? We, it is really warm today. Back to what we were saying. This leopard puffer. Right, a puffer. I would say it's not even a mum style hack. It's, it's just, just a, a necessity. Use, a dog mum hack. <laughs> a wet weather hack. A cold weather hack. A just everyone needs a puffer, puffer. in their wardrobe. But not just any puffer. We're not talking about your kind of puffer that you've had back in your closet yeah. for like 25 years. Gap bought out this puffer, which was genius. Last winter, it came in leopard, it went viral. green velvet, black velvet, every color under the sun. And we both hunted it down. And so did you guys, pretty much everyone, because it did sell out in every single store and, and online. eBay, people were mad for them. Because, it, do you know what? This is what, this is what we're talking about, mum style hats. It's a puffer, but it's got a fashion twist to it as well. In that gorgeous leopard, you can wear Anything you want underneath, you totally put this plain. on and you feel like you again. But it serves a purpose. It's practical, it's warm, warm. and it's a hood. And I like that it's got the drawstring with yes. it. So when it's really raining, you can tie it and then and it's fall a good down. length, so it covers your bum. <coughs> I hate puffers that are too short and your bum gets cold. I know. So it's a it's an all rounder goodie, and hopefully they're going to bring it back next winter. We've we, already asked. We've them. asked her. <laughs> we asked the PR. We had a meeting with her. And we said, you've got to got bring, to bring this back. back. <laughs> so watch this space. So we went for a size medium because we wanted it to be quite oversized. And it already does come a little yeah. bit oversized, but obviously with jumpers, hoodies underneath, thick knits, we went for the medium, which is a great size. Um, and I will say though, obviously this one has sold out, but there are some other ones on the high street. So All Saints did one, M&S have one. Yeah. So we're gonna hunt out some other styles and obviously link them below for you guys. But if you were lucky enough to get this, well done. Lucky you. <laughs> However. Which one have you got? I've got, if you want something a bit longer, I do love the short one, but when it is that really miserable, horrible day out, and you just literally want to wear a duvet, <laughs> you've seen me shot this on the blog, and it is this khaki <laughs> long line it's huge. puffer from Arquette. Now Arquette is probably one of those shops that's really quite new on our radar. It's part of COS and those whole groups, but they do some incredible pieces. It's slightly 
more higher end price points. In the price, yeah. Yeah, but it's definitely still high streak. This is like a feather down puffer and it's not too wide. I do actually have a really wide one from H&M from a few years ago, but I almost feel like- It's a little like, bit like, like this. Gorgeous. Whereas so this is really, back. really slim. I think khaki is in great color. But it does come in black as well. Yeah, it's great because it goes with anything. So if you've got your more navies or your greys or your blacks, really, really great. And it's, was it ankle length would you say? For you, is it? <laughs> for me, it skirts on the floor. For Philippa, it's a oh, mini skirt. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's long not. line. It's, it's just like, I would say just like your calf. calf. Really warm, but not too thick. So that's what I love about this. I and wore it this morning for the nursery run. Did you? I, I like it because you literally just feel like, throw it on, throw it on, go. It's not too heavy when you're getting the kids in the car, then getting yourself in the car, seatbelt on, you don't feel like, ugh, like yeah. you can't move. It's a great, great coat. So whether you prefer something short or something longer, we wanted to show you our two favorite styles that just tick all the boxes for us and are really warm and practical as well. Next up, mum style hack number two. We're gonna Wait, talk you through our ultimate, what we live in them. Love affair. As Sarah was saying, when we're with the kids, there's nothing worse in life than wearing a pair of high-waisted jeans. Or just be uncomfy in general. Right, right, when you're sitting down at play group, soft play, it's just not the right vibe. So, we always turn to our side stripe joggers. You guys know that we love every single pair from me and Em, but we just wanted to show you a new pair that's on our radar that we love from a gorgeous brand called Wise. And they traditionally do a lot of cashmere, but these actually, I think, are more like a merino wool. Um, yes, correct, 100% merino wool. I've got them in grey as well, and they've got that gorgeous rainbow side stripe. They are just so, soft, so fun, they? so soft. And what I love about it, they come with a matching top. So for me, when I'm getting ready in the morning with both kids, I just need to turn to those outfits that I do not need to think about. And for me, the easiest way to do that is just wear sets. Yeah. I dress my kids in sets as well. You just don't have to think what top goes with what trousers. You just know that it works. So it comes with a matching top, so soft, so comfortable, still so stylish, which is our absolute And it is point. a nice way to add a bit of color because sometimes with joggers and those kind of casual pieces, you you are sometimes tend to go very dark, black, yeah. gray. But this so is actually fun. a great way to yeah, be it's a bit really fun. fun. So I just wanted to shout out to these so that you guys can take a look. And they wash really well, really don't they? Really well. I've got the grey pair from last winter and I've lived in them. Even you say, like, they always look so nice every time yeah. I wear them. They don't gate, they don't bag. They're good. Like, They're I really guess comfy. if you're spending that much more, you want to know that they last well and the quality is amazing. And I can promise you that from Wise. Okay, so obviously love the sets, but if you don't quite want to do that vibe, I want to shout about my new favourite joggers from the high street, which you see me bang on about, which are the Topshop 90s jogger. Now, oh, so are they high-waisted? So they're slightly high-waisted. Okay. So I actually wear a size small petite because the regular size are just too baggy for me. I just don't quite think I can pull off that proper 90s vibe. But if you get the petite leg, they're kind of slightly more tapered, slightly high-waisted, and Tip. great just for throwing on with a sweatshirt. So I've got them in gray and black and just wear them really, really simply with trainers. I think they're 25 pounds. I'm gonna double check and link below. Wash really nicely and they're really, really easy and they're a great way to kind of get that, well, it is a trend at the moment, this yeah, kind of 90s of jogger, but actually we're wearing it just to be comfortable and practical kind of yeah but that's the thing like exactly we always take trends and make it work in exactly you don't want to be that person that's head to toe wearing the trend yeah you've got to make so it i'm work not going to wear it with like a crop t-shirt i was just about to say what kind of stuff because i'm thinking like is it too high-waisted to tuck a t-shirt in like, no you can it? obviously now i would definitely tuck a t-shirt in but now it's quite cold i found these incredible jumpers sweatshirts sorry in zara they are 9.99 and i bought them in a few colors oh i need to know about these yeah i bought them in a few colors just to throw on with joggers you can probably see there's Lenny's breakfast on them. Oh, so they're the perfect length. They're a good length for high waisted. So they just kind of hit at the top there. And it's just a really, really easy outfit. 9.99, I'm wearing a size large because I just wanted it more oversized, not too cropped. So when I kind of lift my arms in the air, we're seeing things we don't want to see. So I picked up those. I thought they were really good. And they're kind of my go-to kind of jogger and tracksuit bottom when I'm just not necessarily up for wearing a set. Okay, so number three, 
what would we do without a good pair of sunglasses? Being mums, there's definitely been- Having bags under oh our eyes. Oh my gosh, and those mornings where you just need to get out of the house and just walk, and you've got no makeup on, you've still got your pajamas on, and you just need to bang on a pair of good sunglasses. This pair from Amazon, which obviously you know are a beautiful designer- Inspired. Inspired designer piece. piece. But they just do the trick. They're ten pounds. So good. They come in red, white. They make brown, me happy when black. I put them on. They make me happy. They're big. They cover all the sins. But as we were saying, you know, we still want to look like us yeah. when we're out with the kids, and it's just having those pieces that just tickle the boxes. As Sarah and said. great plastic. You know, sometimes put them, put on, them your on your hair. hair and they get caught. Great for holiday and just a really fun, easy. They're ten pounds. Again, if you're just wearing a really simple outfit, you put those on and you still feel done, which is and kind of what this video was about. Just those easy tips. And also, Alfie loves wear me wearing them. Oh, like I've when got, I I'm going to put a picture of Lenny in the red ones yeah. in the corner. Oh, you have to because also like his learning shape at nursery so he's like mommy it's a heart well done <laughs> the also ones i talked to you about the originals oh. the ray van round these we get so many questions about right. these tell everyone we want to these number. are okay. right, got oh my god i'm so it's old and blind these these are the ray van round rb three four four seven <laughs> size 53 that's the magic number the magic number so it's the larger 53. It's the larger size frame and it's the kind of blacky green lens. So they do come in a smaller frame, but no. no. Number 53. Three. So 51 is a smaller. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> you want 53 because they are really good size, hide the back. I've never met anyone that they don't suit. They literally suit Because I'm quite every... funny with sunglasses yeah. and literally they're just so, so, so good. We've got them in the gold. They do come in black, which we've got our eyes really on. But they just go with anything. We used to laugh when we used to go on holiday, have like a <laughs> different pair of sunglasses, I think, for like morning and evening. And now we just take these. I just take these. Lovers. And those. And these. Right, number four. We have dedicated a lot of time recently to talking about our love affair with trainers. But just reiterating, because again, we get lots of questions about our favourite styles, about sizes. So I'm going to talk to you about my favourite pair that I bought last year. Golden Goose shearling lined trainers, which Philippa thought were controversial when I got them. I did them. at the time. And However, I'm still not, like, I, I love she's them not on you. Not, she's not 100 I'm not 100% convinced yet. So, but you know what? We can't love everything in life. Different strokes for different exactly. folks. There you go. So, love the Golden Gooses. We swear by them, come true to size. I always wear a 39 and you always wear a 38. 38. I was tempted by these when I saw them on Farfetch. It was a, during a late night feed when Lenny was a bubs because they work like an Ugg boot. Yes. They are shearling lined. So when I'm, they're by my door, I have them by my door and I literally slide them on, no socks. <laughs> they don't smell by the way. <laughs> really, really comfy. And just what we love about the Golden Goose is they have a little bit of an inbuilt mm -hmm. platform and they're very, very narrow on the foot. So they're really flattering. Whatever trousers you wear, we love them as much with dresses and joggers and jeans and I could talk about all day how I love them, but I wanted to share these because they are super warm, super comfy, and I live in them. And what I would say about Golden Goose, they are pricey, but when you cost per wear, cost per wear, exactly. And the fact that they're distressed, it doesn't matter, they kind of <laughs> yeah. get a bit better with age. But I don't know about you, some of my friends have bought um, Golden Goose since seeing them on our videos or on us, and they're just like, They've changed my life. 100%. They've updated my mum wardrobe because there is in a, such a fresh way. There is a time and a place for a chunky trainer, and I, I, we do love them. And I know you're going to talk about a slightly chunkier pair, but then some. It's just the fact that they're so slimming. Yeah. But the reason that I love these, like I said, is because of the shearling line. So I wanted a share with you a little a, hack. A little hack that actually I saw on Emma Hill, who is a friend of ours, and it is these shearling. Inner soles, sorry, I forgot the word for a second. <laughs> so, you know those they're days, so they're so soft. You know those days where you want to wear trainers, but it's absolutely Baltic outside, <laughs> and someone like your mum will say to you, are you mad going out in your Especially trainers? Especially us, <laughs> no, like, we don't often wear socks with our trainers. So, if you put these in your shoes, it's basically like having like, And have a, you tried and tested, do they fit in every single trainer? They fit in every single trainer. They do make them slightly more snug, okay. but I wouldn't say that any of my trainers are too small for me, so it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. You. They're so, so, so cozy. It's pretty much like wearing slippers, but trainers at the same time. I think they were 11 pounds on Amazon and they were just a really, really good buy. So I thought they were a great hack to share with you to keep your tootsies warm. Nice. So I want to share a pair of trainers that we're both loving at the moment. Fairly new to us. They're the Veja, Veja, Veja. 
condor trainers, which I've only actually seen stocked on Netapulta. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're probably on um, Vea's website. Vea, see, I went to Vea. There you go. Direct, but um, oh, we always love shopping on Netapulta just because it's like literally one click. So and it's dangerous. Done. So dangerous. But these are great. So I saw these. Um, with my beautiful mum friend Vicky wearing them with our bubbers and she had them on and I literally that instant I was like where I need them like I hadn't seen them before within one click I bought them and then told you to buy them and then with a the second click <laughs> Sarah had bought them as well they and are they great so because much. they are so comfortable I know we keep going on about how amazing these are but they really are they are so light they are great for being around with the kids they've got that sporty vibe as well but still feel quite feminine and fashion forward the and the they're time. just they're just genius really love them I wear them all the time with the kids they seem to go with every legging jogger whatever you want to wear even a dress in the summer would you say as well sometimes black training can be quite tricky because they can look very Bulky, heavy yeah but because of this bright white, white sole there's quite a statement it actually softens it slightly they're perfect for being in the park they go with everything yeah they're we slimming can great travel airport travel as well mum style hack number five you've heard us barking on about this a lot recently barking. Is that even a word? We love leggings. I never thought I'd say that. I mean, well. honestly. I blame you. I, 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 blame I take responsibility for I this. I blame Spanx. So after I had Ava, I just, my hips, like a lot of my body changed quite dramatically and I couldn't find my style. Like I wasn't comfortable in my high-waisted jeans, definitely not. Even in joggers felt quite wide. Like I just, I had a bit of a tricky time. And I was she just great. I would, that's why you're my BF. I just was, I constantly was turning. She was on the for something. But I wanted a little bit of an update with my leggings, and I saw Spanx, and of course I know lots of other lovely brands do them, but these are my favourite. Spanx do these incredible hold in leather look leggings leather. no they're I've leather never looks. touched them i thought they were like more of a like an actual leather feel they smell like my washing yeah um but the reason why i love these ones obviously because they're spanx and they've got the hold-in techn technology for me especially at the time i just felt like i needed that control and they're so, so comfortable i've got this pair i also do actually because i love them so much and as you were saying cost per wear and i got them in the black friday sale um, got the biker style as well. Did you buy them on ASOS? I bought them on Selfridges. Okay. But they're widely stocked. We will link them below. Hopefully they are, because I, I did notice after Black Friday they were totally they sold were no out. More. But hopefully they bought them back. But this is a really fun pair to wear with the kids. They are so comfortable. They've got that sporty, chic, Breaks sporty. Up a bit. Exactly, just makes it fun. But obviously you're going to be so comfortable. You're going to feel like you've got control. You're going to look stylish. You're gonna just look the bee's knees, basically. So basically, everyone has to try Spanx leggings unless you have already. And I was, I kept saying to Sarah because Sarah actually isn't so comfortable in no. leggings, but I have I convinced you. She's convinced me. I I don't know why. I wear leggings to the gym, but for some reason, I just never felt like I had maybe the right top. So I just didn't think I feel comfortable in something so tight on my legs. You However, your mind. I just opted for this black, just totally plain black pair. They're actually from a web website called Luxury Legs, and they're the classic Spanx leggings. And when I tried them on, and they came all the way up, right. and I put an oversized polo neck on, right. and I, saw the light, I saw the light, and I thought to myself, what have I been doing so my good whole in life? leggings. <laughs> life is so good in leggings. They are plain. But, but I, the reason why I love this is because, can, I don't know if you can see. It's actually the Spanx material. Right, but they're thick, so you yeah. don't get that sheer bum, which is not good for no. anyone. So when I first tried these, I was I was wowed. I think I texted <laughs> you and I said, my life has changed for the better because I've discovered Spanx leggings. <laughs> love them, I wear them really simply. So for me, I wouldn't wear a short top. No. I wear like a slouchy oversized polo neck. I've got one a few years old from Whistles. We got one recently from our care, just oversized. I wear it with trainers. Admittedly, it's not the most kind of revolutionary, revolutionary look, look. But it's, it's revolutionised. But actually, wardrobe. when you don't want to wear the joggers, yeah, you put them on. I like all black. I feel chic in them. It's like you're ready you go to with go. my buggy. I'm ready <laughs> to go. Hack number six. We thought we would touch upon a little bit of makeup that helps us feel. Done, good, easy, on the go, yada, yada, yada. So I spoke about 
this revolutionary Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks in a video a couple of weeks ago. Which As is you can sad. see, it is a lip stain and a cheek stain. It's not too glossy because we were saying that we don't want to wear a gloopy gloss kind of feel too done with yeah, the kids hair, hair walking on skin, on don't want to wear lipstick because if you're not wearing that much makeup sometimes lipstick's a bit like mm. too much <laughs> um so we wanted to find something in between i refound this in my makeup bag forgot i'd had it it's kind of like my summer holiday um piece but it's love the color piece. love the color really really easy and it's always in one of my pockets so i wanted to reach out about this because i think it is great i want to share because actually before you found this one, I was on the hunt. Cause I, like you say, could not bear to wear thick, heavy lipstick with the kids. Every time I kissed Ava, it was like on her cheek or I like budged past her coat and it was on her coat and it just was really annoying me. So I wanted to find something that was moisturizing, had a little bit of color, but no stickiness at all. So I wanna share and shout out these two that I found. This one is the new Dior Lip Glow. So this is ultimately just a lip balm. As you can does see, does it go to the work to the color of your lips? It doesn't, but you put. I think it probably would react differently depending yeah. on your kind of own color, because everyone's lip color is slightly different. But you put it on. I'm gonna show that again. It's totally clear, but within a few seconds, it actually does go a little bit pink, which is nice. Like if I'm just stepping out of the house, going for a walk with the kids, I just want to put something on my lips. And, and also, if you don't want to, do not feel like your lips are so dry they're going to so fall dry. off the street. Exactly. <laughs> so that's that one. And then this is a really new one that came in the post a couple of days ago, which really you've good. also got, yeah. which is really exciting. Nars has brought out these new kind of their lip balms as well, but with slight tints. So this one is called Torrid. And it's got that nice peachy corally look, which is gonna be really nice for the summer. I'm gonna put it on as well. There you go, girl. There's no stickiness. They're moisturizing. They've got a little bit of a tint. That's what you want, just a little bit of exactly. a tint. Exactly. And it's fresh. It's nice, nice. Really nice. I haven't tried it on yet. Yeah, How it's it really look? nice. Yeah. So these are great. Again, as you say, keep them in your pocket. Just whack them out when you need them. And also probably quite good for the kids, as long as they don't eat them. Quite fun to play with. <laughs> I also forgot I wanted to talk about one more. I'm taking you back to old school. I remember these. This Clarins Natural Lip Perfector. This is more glossy, but it's good if, sometimes I'd need that bit of lift, but yeah. it's not gloopy. So I'm actually, I've popped it on at the moment. It kind of just gives a more of a sheen to Rather it. Rather than a gloss. Yeah, and it comes, I think, in like 20 different colors. I've gone for this brownie color, which is called, I always forget which one it's called, 16. Um, and it doesn't, sometimes I find the glosses can make your lips quite drying and yeah. they sometimes work against your lips. But I really like this one. It's been in my makeup bag forever and it's a good everyday piece. I just nice wanted to throw back. Yeah, I wanted to share it with you. So I really love this one as well. So our final mum style hack number seven, we want to talk you guys through baby carriers, baby slings, because it is a total minefield, especially if you haven't had babies before, you don't know. I certainly didn't when I had Alfie. I didn't even touch a baby carrier. I find that so hard to believe. Right, because now I only put Ava in my carriers. So I just I just didn't know which ones were the best ones. And also I felt like when I the ones that I had tried on, I felt like I was about to jump out of a plane in it. Yeah. Like they're just um, like quite intense but the ones that we have found work really well and easy, easy 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 but they look nice as well and I for me that was kind of my main thing with Ava because obviously second baby she just slots in so I needed something that was practical I didn't want to invest in a double buggy because of Alfie's age I just didn't think it was necessary so I wanted to find some carriers that would kind of look nice because I knew that I was going to have them for a while and work really well. So we want to share with you guys two different styles. They kind of have different pros, different cons and different price points as well. Yeah. Right. So I wanted to start by the carrier that I use, although I didn't actually bring my one. This one I'm going to talk about is pink. It's Ava's, Philippa's, but mine was in the garage. However, I've got it in a light grey. This is the Bjorn Mini. It was one of the first pieces I bought when I got pregnant with Lenny because I knew that I liked the idea of wearing him and stuff. I had so many recommendations from people and I tried a couple that I really, really found uncomfortable or complicated with an insert and it just really, really freaked me out. And I remember trying to put it on in the store with Craig and we were literally screaming at each other and we didn't even have the baby yet. So I, once, when I tried on the Bjorn Mini, as you can see here, 
I just knew it was the perfect one for me. So, so, so easy. And I loved wearing him. I'd go for a walk. I had him in September. So it was that really nice time of year mm. where the weather was nice. And most days, post the fog <laughs> of the three months of like, ah, I would go for a walk. I put him in the carrier because that's where he and I, felt he comfy. felt most comfortable. He was never great in the buggy. He would just, in the big buggy, he would just cry and cry and cry and cry. It was never good for me. So I always wore him. I had the dog and I had Lenny and I found it, I loved it. So this one, as we said, really easy. And would you agree, it's just so simple to clip on. It's so simple. You don't need any helping hands. Exactly. You can do it yourself. One strap on, baby in, other strap. What's good about it as well, it's no frills. So it's not in that 250 price bracket. Yeah, it's under 80 pounds. Under 80 pounds. It's really easy. And sometimes these things, I think, just take you back to basics. Yeah. Of course you want one with great back support, which this does, but you don't need bells and whistles and inserts, like I said, and craziness. Just a simple carrier that does the job that is easy to put on, and we absolutely both love the Bjorn Mini. And the Mini, I think they can wear it until they're one. And yes, it's under 80 and it's this bit flaps down, right. doesn't it? It's under £80, so realistically, you're going to get such good use out of it up until they're one. And once they're one, really, like, will they really want to be on you? Like, if they're diddy, then... Possibly, but if they're on their go and they just want to kind of have a bit more freedom, I actually think, you know, £80 for a whole year is a great price point. Yeah. Comes in every single um, different fabric, waterproof, cotton, jersey, colours. Um, it's great. And also I love it because it's small enough to fit under the buggy. If or I'm in your bag. Or in your bag or in the boot of your car. Um, it's an all-rounder, really great carrier. And it's quite thin as well, which I like because yeah. when it did get colder, I would zip him in my coat yeah. as well. Oh, so oh, some of them, I miss those days. when it's really bulky, you kind of, you, yeah. it just becomes awkward. So I really love that about it as well. What one do you have? So I obviously love the Baby Bjorn Mini, but also just for kind of a bit more of a fashion element, Here I have is. the... <laughs> it's, it's a very leopard-heavy video. I know, I didn't realise this, <laughs> but leopards are neutral, isn't it, clearly? Um, this gorgeous arty pop baby carrier which i got when ava was born and i have to say it just feels special so i wouldn't use this carrier if i was on my own with both kids just going to the park because it's not as easy to put on on my own as the bjorn right. so i find the bjorn one better when i'm on my own needing to just be as quick as possible both kids get out of the house as quick as possible that's the one i turn to but if i'm on the weekend and with alex and we're going for a nice mooch or we're going for some lunch or we're going to walk around wherever we're going i always wear this one because i feel do you wear with your leopard jumper oh yeah and, my and your leopard coat, coat and, and your leopard trainers absolutely <laughs> and a leopard hat um and gloves i just i love it it's fun it's having those pizzas in your wardrobe that are practical for mum life but just still have your stamp on it and they and, are they're really beautifully made and, and it comes in literally a million colors right oh, yeah. see they're i didn't really know about special. this brand when i had Lenny. what i would say is they're expensive <laughs> so if you're thinking if something like a so family member is thinking what can i get you for your baby or if you're just kind of Want to treat wanting to treat yourself once you've had the baby because let me tell you you deserve an ultimate treat i would say have a look and at it's these just comfortable carriers. it's so comfortable and ava loves being in it you can't have the baby front facing when you're wearing this but I like that. I like her being all snuggly. She likes it too. Your baby is most comfortable when they can feel your heartbeat and I'm quite happy with that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed a bit of a different video a for us today. A little different but fun and also yeah. just so much about kind of our day-to-day -day lives. Our lifestyles, yeah. So. so we want to share with you some of our favourite bits and hope we inspired you, whether it's, like you said, casual looks or mum looks or easy looks or just can't be bothered looks, <laughs> but still looking together. Exactly, that's what it's all about. And we will see you guys next week at 7.30am. And hope you guys have had a lovely weekend. Bye. Bye.